Hello everyone, thank you for joining me today on this show for Freeform Dreadlocks. <clears throat> this is the show where I talk about my experience with my Freeform Dreadlocks, which I've had for 17 years. It'll be 18 years uh, this coming July, so I'm really, really excited about that. It's awesome. I wanted to share to you today, share with you today, um, my journey. I kind of thought that I didn't really have that many pictures of before I had my uh, dreads, but it turns out I do. I've got a couple of childhood photos, um, a photo from when I was uh, modeling, well, for a figure drawing class, uh, and then right after I got out of the army, and then uh, when I came back from the army uh, and got my first job, and and then, well, first job out of the army, and then uh, <clears throat> up till now. So, I'll show some, I'll share some pictures with you. I hope that I can get it as clear as possible with my camera. I've got a new one, so let's see. This one, I think I was about, um, I think I was about, let's put this down. I think I was about, I'm guessing, seven years old. I don't know if you can see it really well, but I had, uh, my mom had braided my hair and she put a bunch of like, I think beads or something in it. No, you know what? It wasn't my mom, it was my sister. One of my older sisters braided it. And I really like that. <laughs> that was kind of cool. That was like, that's before I even had my hair processed or anything. And that's way down the line. Yeah, that's kind of cool. <laughs> I don't know if that was close enough for you to see it. And this one, I think I'm about 10 years old, maybe, perhaps. And this one, yeah. And this is not my real hair. It's a wig that I found in the house. So, back then, I don't think I was, no, I don't think I was, I wasn't that proud of my hair back then, my natural state of my hair, even even way back then, because I just kind of succumbed to commercialism and, you know, what I saw around me, and a lot of people who were brown-skinned and tightly coiled hair were frying the crap out of their hair with chemicals, and I thought, hey, maybe I should do that, because look at the results. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? So here's another photo. It was a photo of when I went to a wedding. I think this is right after I graduated from high school, actually. And I had, um, I gave myself a relaxer and then I um, rolled it with uh, sponge rollers, rollers to make this bob hairdo. And that's how I liked wearing my hair when it was relaxed. But just the same, it was always very uh, tedious with always having to make sure my roots were smooth. I had, when I got this hairstyle, I shaved the back of my hair so it'll be like in a V. It was kind of bald in the back. And then I had this really stylish bob. And um, it was nice. And then all of a sudden, the bald part started growing in in the back. And I was like, uh-oh, my real hair is starting to show. What the heck am I going to do now? <laughs> so, yeah, that that hairstyle didn't last very long. <laughs> the guy I was dating at the time didn't really like that, that I had a straight hair on top, and then it was, like, really tightly coiled, afro-ish in the back as the bald part was growing in. It was funny. So, anyway... Um, that's when I really thought at that point, you know, this is ridiculous. I need to stop with this chemical processing, trying to alter my hair to make it look like something that'll never be. <laughs> and in the process, damaging it all. This is a photo of when uh, I decided to go ahead and just shave my head. And this is not too long. I think this is when I, oh, it even says it on the back. April 96, 22 years old. And this, I think this is right before I went into the military. I was thinking, you know, I'm going to go in the military. I don't want to have any fuss. Just shave my head. Just shave my head. And then uh, it'll be easy. Just go through basic training, you know, and all natural, everything. I was using this shampoo called African Pride. And 
and the conditioner as well because those were the only two products I found that had the most uh, natural ingredients. Everything else from African Pride at the time, I don't know about it now, but it had like all these herbs and everything, but it was based in like a petroleum based type of thing. It looked, just looked like, you know, Vaseline with herbs in it. It's crazy. So anyway, this is right, uh, this is right after I got out of the military. My fro, I got a teeny weeny afro that's growing back in. Hair's growing back in and everything. Deciding to stay natural, you know, start trying to keep with, keep up with it. Uh, I think this is still 96 because uh, I returned early from basic training. If you refer to the video, my army uh, army video, you can listen more about that experience. I have it here on YouTube. So yeah, that's me then. And then I decided to let those that TWA turn into cute little these little mini dreads that started popping up. I was like, hey, these look cool because I just stopped combing my hair. And this was just like cleansing it and stuff. At the time, I was still using the African Pride uh, shampoo and the conditioner at the time. And then I started getting these little sprouts of uh, dreads, little baby dreads popping up. And then at the time, way back when, as I've told you guys on many other... Uh, many other videos that um, I had dyed my hair with a uh, regular commercial dye. It was blonde, bleach blonde. It was the L'Oreal, uh, was it called Ultimate Blonde or something like that, I think. And I wanted to do something different, you know, lift up the color. thought that would lift up my mood, you know. But uh, sad to say, it did not. It just resulted in damage. So... I personally stay away from commercial dyes. I don't mind if that's what other people like to use. But for me personally, um, it damaged my hair. You know, and it's not good for my hair. So um, I've been doing the rose rosemary rinses for ages, okay? Over 10 years now. And uh, I haven't had tons of damage like I did before. So that's what keeps my hair strong. And it also has, I don't know if you can tell, because my camera's not that great. Sometimes you can't see the exact color of my hair and everything. But I, um, ever since I used the Rosemary Rinse, um, I've noticed that it's turned like a reddish color just naturally. And that's kind of cool. I like it. And then now that I'm out in the sun a lot, as it gets warmer, it gets sun bleached as well. So, kind of neat. I don't mind. I like the sun. And it's great for your hair and your scalp. So anyway, onward to the photos. I have one more photo to share. And it's a photo of, I don't know what year this was. It doesn't say on here. But I'm going to guess, I took it off my fridge. That's why I've got all these weird little stickers on it. I'm going to guess this photo is from 2000 and, shoot. I'm guessing 2002, perhaps, yeah. Yeah, 2002. My, um, I didn't keep track, obviously, throughout the years consistently like a lot of you guys do. Some of you even record month by month. And this is, yeah, this is probably about that time, 2002. As you can see, you know, I got the, I'm still, at this point in 2002, I was still, like, I was still dyeing my hair. I was like, I like my hair a uh, lighter color. I want to dye it. And I kept doing that, and it kept breaking off and getting damaged. And then finally, <laughs> to today, I, I realized, you know, you can't keep putting, I can't, I can't keep putting that kind of stuff on my hair because it's going to damage it. And for me, it's disrespectful to just pour these chemicals on my hair. And I'm also believing that the chemicals can probably sink into your like brain your scalp and cloud you cloud your vision cloud your crown from uh picking up useful wisdom and information that's just me okay everybody has dreadlocks for different reasons and and i respect that you know this is just my journey my journey i feel it to be very spiritual i'm very connected 
uh, with who I am more and more every year that I have my dreads. You know, I love them and they're beautiful because they're an expression of who I am that comes out of my head naturally. And I love that, you know, I love it. And I wouldn't ever like imagine my hair any other way. I mean, I went through like, I've talked to, talked to you guys about this in other videos, but for those of you out there that just started listening, um, yeah, I went through such a phase, you know, I went through like when I was a little girl looking at, you know, commercials, magazines, seeing like the perfect idea of what beauty is and beauty meant straight pressed hair for everybody, you know, black people or brown people, whatever you want to be called, you know, strongly melanated, be melanated beings, we're we were encouraged to uh, copy that look, to press our hair straight, you know, to dress a certain way, way, you know, in order to seek approval from society. And I'm done with that. <laughs> I went through that stage. I went through the pressing my hair, relaxing my hair, you know, jerry curl, disgusting, of course, all of it's disgusting for me. Because all it does is tells, when I, do, when I did things like that to my hair, it made me feel like I was just saying, I hate you, and I want you to be different, and I don't want you to be the way that you are, you know? And for me, my hair would not conform to that. My hair is just like, what? Come on. You know you love me. Look at these curls. Look at how everything's just working the way it's supposed to, because Mother Nature knows what she's doing, you know? So yeah, I mean, just thought I'd share that with you, a little bit of my uh, my past. I don't know if the photos turned out really good where you could see them on camera. I hope they did. And if not, I can share them again, once again, maybe in like a slideshow of some sort. i uh, just trying to figure out the cap cap capabilities of my camera at this time. So yeah, I hope you enjoy and I hope it's uh, motivating. I hope it's you know, inspiring. I just want everybody to know before I close this video that, you know what, just be yourself, whatever it means to you. Dreadlocks, no dreadlocks, whatever it means. Makeup, no makeup, whatever it means. Just be who you are and express who you are and how it feels when it comes out of you. And don't be, uh, don't be like listening to everybody's little like chatter about what you should look like and what how you should present yourself to the world because you are